Robert Krieger of Handelsblatt Global Edition. Uh, I'm here with uh, the CEO of uh, Daimler, Mr. Zetje. How will the free trade agreement help your firm specifically and German industry uh, at large? Well, the first point is that um, <clears throat> there are uh, high amounts of duty to be paid in today's regime. Uh, these would become obsolete and we could use this money for further investments. Uh, secondly, today for the same end, for a safe vehicle and a low emission vehicle, uh, we have to um, go two paths according to two separate regulations uh, with the same objective but separate engineering efforts and separate testing efforts uh, which costs us uh, billions uh, of euros uh, which we could save and invest into uh, real added value and not waste. Um, last but not least, uh, the combination of these two huge markets between Europe and North America uh, would give us on the long run uh, the kind of weight and influence in the global uh, competition which we need. Uh, if we miss that uh, unique opportunity, uh, we are basically forcing uh, North America to join forces with Asia and then we are the left outs and leftovers and will pay dearly for that mistake. How do you think to convince politicians and the public here in Germany and Europe, which is still skeptical uh, to a large degree? There are small interest groups who in uh, many cases, very populistic ways, try to raise um, concerns which we have to discuss in an overproportional way. Uh, and uh, do not recognize the tremendous benefits we can have at the same time. So let's work towards a positive conclusion of the negotiations. Let's address the concerns by finding solutions and let's stress the tremendous upside we are seeing in this uh, opportunity and go for it. What will the benefit be for a consumer in Europe or in the United States? Well, uh, any costs we are avoiding uh, can be used uh, for uh, faster improvement of the product, um, any intensification of um, competition between the two sides of the Atlantic will lead to more competitive and better products on both sides. So the consumer is definitely uh, the one who benefits in either uh, way if we get a successful TTIP negotiation. Thank you. Thanks, welcome.